friends, it's Scott Hanselman. I'm here at the Caribbean Developers Conference. I'm here with developers Martina and Bruno Capuano, and we're going to talk about some interesting solutions that we've got around the big problem of parking, especially when you are a small child and you're trying to find parking for your, your, your car, because you have this problem regularly, I know. You've got to park your toy, you can't find a spot, so what do you do? You're overwhelmed. So what's going on here? What's happening? I see the parking garage, and then I see a camera that's looking at the garage. Can you tell me what's happening, Martina? The camera is, uh, is telling which spots are free and which ones have a car in them. OK. And then you have to teach it about the lines. What's it looking at? Is it looking at the lines? No, the spots, the numbers. So this spot with the numbers. So it knows that spot number three is empty right now. Yeah. And can you put a car in spot three? And I'm going to look at the TV and see what happens when you do that. OK, so now it says that there's a good chance that spot one is free, and it knows that two and three are full up. Yeah. So then I could maybe have a sign out front that tells me that there's a free spot or that the parking garage is full. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? You think that this would save people a lot of time? Yeah. Yeah? This is a pretty good idea. And it, do you think that just because it works with a toy that it will work with a real car? Probably. Probably? That sounds like a good strategy. What do you think, sir? That's kind of the idea, to try to make a different approach to find this spot using the standard security cameras, CCTV cameras that the parking pot spots have right now to do this analysis and start to figure out if there are empty spots or not. And by the way, what we are doing here, we are not training any machine learning from scratch model using whatever amazing tool. We are using custom vision. So we are training this, basically uploading picture of an empty parking, uploading picture with the, this is a spot one, two, three, with different lights, different condition. And that's how the system learns how to do this. And what we have here is also this running in a small device, like a Raspberry Pi, doing the analysis, because our end goal is to send all of this info as an I with IoT devices to a cloud, like an example, Azure IoT Central, to do the analysis, to create rules. If every five minutes we have this as a, five, as a free spot, make a light that, hey, this is green, everything is happening here or not. It's trying to put all together the pieces that we have for this. Mm -hmm. And you've made the point that it's running on a Raspberry Pi. That means it's not expensive, it's not a lot of compute. You don't yes. have to go and buy a laptop and a computer and a cloud and do all that kind of stuff. Yes, one of the most amazing things that we have here in Custom Vision is that we can export, once we train a model, we can export the model, and this is Custom Vision AI, and we can export the model to be used in an iPhone or an Android or even as a Docker file. And the cool thing about Docker file is now that we have the template to do in Raspberry 3 or 4, I have a 4 here. So yes, it can run in a $40 device. I can remember the, the latest price and cheap device. And it's running very well. It's analyzing images every three to five seconds. So it's a very good response time to do these kind of things. Do you think that I could come up with other ideas? Maybe I can look at other problems I have in my house? Yes. And train custom vision? Like what's some other things that uh, did I take out the trash in my house? What do you think else, Martina? Did I, did I, do I have food in the refrigerator? Yeah. What are some other things that I can make a computer warn me about? What is the other one that I just showed you? What are we using the camera to track? Um, our cats. If, to see if they bring anything in or something. Like, a, like an unwanted guest. Yeah. Yes, because our cat, he's a kitten and what is he doing right now at home? He's playing around, probably. He's playing around, and he's bringing little hunting trophies, like... Yeah, maybe a, a friend. Yeah, so we have the smell, and maybe with the cameras, we're going to see if he's bringing them. That is a really good idea. I was thinking about little things like, do I have enough, you know, food? But also, I don't want my cat to bring in. Yeah, so you can check on the cat, the trash. I can check my garage door if I left it open, my own parking spots. That's another There's a that's lot a good of things. And this is not hard. We can do this ourselves at our house. Yes. And this is just a regular webcam. This is a standard um, standard USB cam. doesn't have any special. It's the one that you can get uh, in the average camera. Yes, uh -huh. and it works right. Okay, so if I want to go and do this when I get home, I just go to customvision.ai? Customvision.ai, you put your images there, you train with your images. You are going to see that mines for the parking are very simple. Just picture of the of the parking slot. And what I did, I select a small spot and say this is spot one, two, three, and with 20, 30, I can have a working demo 
if we want to really have a full product, we need to increase the number, get the better data, but it's very easy to start. But if I was going to check on the cat, what do you teach the system? You say this is the bed that the cat lives in and it's empty, and then if the cat brings somebody in, you say this is the bed with an unwanted guest? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you would do? That's what we're trying to do. We need to have our moms okay to do that at you home. You to check with mom on that? But that's the main goal. Yes? That's pretty cool. Now, one last question. Does this save? It wouldn't necessarily save pictures. Like, we think about privacy. Your cat wants to be private. So you don't want to send pictures of your cat streaming on the internet, but you do want to know if the cat brings something in. This custom vision work is happening locally, right? It's happening locally, and as I show, it's going to create a Docker image that you are going to run in the Raspberry Pi here locally. So yes, we are not going to stream the custom, the, sorry, the cat the image. The cloud isn't doing the work. Everything I am is doing. Yes, house. everything is doing here at home. So I am going to be happy to know if I, our cat is alone or not. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, Martina, for showing me this situation. And thank you, Bruno, for helping Martina with the demonstration. OK, thanks, Scott. All right, we're having all kinds of fun at the CDC. You should come down to the Caribbean and check out the Dominican Republic. <laughs>